It's a little after uh, 6 p.m. Here's the thing. I woke up at 9 a.m. today, and then I ate breakfast, went back to lay down on my bed, and I passed out to like 3 p.m. So I'm getting a, a late head start on my day. I'm off to get a couple of work shirts. I need some work shirts, and I need some new regular t-shirts because I don't have any clothes to wear. Um, pretty much I'm running out. I've worn the same shirts for like four years, and it's trying to get holes in them. Not very good. We're going to uh, pretty much go get some new t-shirts. That's about it. Waiting for the bus. I missed two of them. Let's go, uh, let's go shopping. I started to diet yesterday. Pretty much. Pretty much uh, uh, I had salad and a sandwich for uh, out and about. Eat whatever I want. But today happens to be January 2nd. And it's my day off. So <laughs> but technically it's my, it's my cheat day. So... Um, let's see what, let's see what food I can get, and, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I want pizza, but yesterday I had salad, I'll eat pizza the next day. So I keep on hearing that people who have In-N-Out and then Shake Shack, pretty much, they said Shake Shack is better. So I'm actually going to try this burger. It's kind of small. It is hot. I'm not gonna lie, this burger is actually really good. People compare it to In N Out all the time. There's no comparison. I mean, In N Out has, is really good, but they have their own sauce and everything. Shake Shack burger is actually really good. I got their basic burger, but I'm definitely coming back and try some other stuff. So I came in for about 30 minutes, bought two work shirts, two regular t-shirts, got one small burger, and it cost me about $90. Yeah. Fuck adulty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was a quick uh, attempt at my daily vlogging, day two. Pretty much go home and uh, watch some Netflix, see what that bird box is all about. All right, guys. Catch you later.